Amazon is now going into Amazon Studios. And so this is according to Ars Technica. Amazon is getting to the movie production business and offering $2.7 million to those who submit the best films of 2011. The venture is called Amazon Studios, meant uh, to help filmmakers and screenwriters get discovered and have their movies put into production and hopefully become hits. So here's the deal. If you, if you have a great film, best script, 20000 uh, bucks for January. I, I, and the best movie is $100,000. Uh, by the end of the year, the best script's going to get $100,000 and the best movie's going to be a million. Now, that's not a production budget. That's like what you get paid and then they're going to add a production budget to it. Um, so they're trying to see if people will, will write some scripts for them um, and uh, be part of this. Now, it looks like you can actually edit other people's scripts. Now, I don't know who they decide is the winner once you start noodling with other people's scripts. So you put them up there. People can play with them. It's, it's a bit of a crowdsourcing model, or it seems to be, um, to uh, you know anyone film who, or screenplay who gets selected for theatrical release will get an, an additional 200000 or will get $200,000 for the rights with a 400000 bonus for those movies that make more than $60 million um, in the U.S. box office. Uh, Tim, you're in L.A. What do you think? Is this, is this, uh, is this, a, is this a good idea? Uh, is it something that's going to work for Amazon? Is it something that's going to work for the, sc- the, the screenwriters? You know, when, when you talk about it right now, it sounds like a pretty good deal. I heard some uh, filmmakers talking about it last night, and they were not very happy with it. Um, I, I, I don't know why. I mean, if you're a young budding filmmaker and you've you've got something and you want to get it out there, here's here's another way to play. I, I'm not a big fan of contests for the professional. I, I don't I don't like it, but it does seem more often than not that people with some professional or prosumer experience are the ones who wind up winning these, you know, Project Greenlight type things. And this one seems to have a little bit better deal than P- Project Greenlight. So it, it'll be interesting to see who wins and does anybody, you know, get a career out of this or, you know, do they just get the money? But it, it's nice that they're getting the money and they don't have to spend it on the project. That's always been a, a real sore spot with me where you've won this money, but you don't get to keep it. Now you got to go make the project, and oh, by the way, we'll own it. Well, yeah, so and, it, and, and and I think that that's the the um, you know, a lot of people you know think that they have that movie, that big movie that they have in the back of their head. Uh, you know, some people that are in the industry know that if you're an established uh, screenwriter, or even if you're in Hollywood. Uh, you could probably get a better deal if you had a really good script. You know, so it depends on how competitive this is. If you've got a script that could win this, the big question is, would you give it to Amazon? If if you have a, a script that's that good, um, would you give it to Amazon or would you just try to shop it around uh, where you might get a, a much better deal, more points and all kinds of other things in the background, you know, but as a as oftentimes as a first uh, round screenwriter, from what I know, I've never been a first round screenwriter, but uh, is that you're, you know, a lot of times you're lucky to get your name on it, let alone, you know, much of a back end. And so, so, you know, it may not be that bad for the, these first round writers. The, um, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Do you think, Morgan, though, that do you think that people are going to look at this? If, if I'm an established screenwriter, maybe I shop something around and then take it if it's, if it's been, you know, it's failed, no one's interested. Well, I'm going to do my last ditch effort, effort and throw it into Amazon. Do you think that might be the, the, the mode? Um, I think maybe, you know, I think, uh, talking a lot of independent filmmakers and been reading some of the comments online is one of the the things that people aren't happy about is this 18 month exclusive option on the script kind of once you submit it so i think if you've done your shopping and and have pounded on a bunch of doors and haven't had a lot of success then you know turning over that uh exclusive option period uh, is fine um if you have a script that you think can win uh, and you haven't done that door knocking, um, then getting tied up with Amazon for 18 months uh, might not be in your best interest. So I think it really depends. It just uh, it just seems like uh, that that I would this would be the thing I would do. This would be the thing that I would do if it didn't work. Like the first thing I would do is find try to find an agent, try to find someone to look at it, uh, try to sell it directly. And if I couldn't, then we'll see. You know, maybe it'll trickle up. Lon, do you see yourself uh, trying to write something or, or put together a movie? Well, I've never put a movie together before, but if I if I was starving and not getting anywhere trying to break in, this might be another option. It seems to me it's more like a venture fund for for aspiring filmmakers than anything else cuz Amazon does does actually stand to make quite a bit of money if if one of these scripts is successful and um and it's good I suppose for the for the budding filmmaker too, but um, I, I'd try it if I if I was not getting anywhere else. I mean, every well, opportunity is an opportunity. 
And I think I think for me the the, the thing that I looked at is I I was really hoping that to me what would be interesting is to build a kind of an ecosystem. You know, I, I a lot of times I you know I talk about ecosystems when it comes to production because we're talking to different locality you know whether it's a state or a country that's trying to build up a film industry i i somehow end up in these conversations and i and i, and I often talk about the fact that you don't just need big films you need to attract media production you need you need you know you need the little uh, plankton as well as the as the whales <laughs> you know to keep everything going and i think that one of the things that I was missing when i looked at this was i was like i really wish that they had done short films smaller amounts for short films and let and and see you know then you can start focusing on some filmmakers who do really good shorts you know really good 10 minute films the problem with you know feature films is as anybody who's actually worked on one knows is to do one even you know the problem is your best movie will receive a hundred thousand dollars but you still had to spend you know a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of effort to try to make that film you know that's the that's the real challenge is you got to still make the film to get to get that it seems like the script is going to make a lot more sense for a lot of people because that's something they can do in their house uh, making these films just seems like a like a huge uh, risk from the filmmaker's perspective uh, or you know and maybe you know a lot of people have enough cameras and gear and Stuff like that that they could go out and spend a couple of weeks, you know, shooting. But it just seems like a, that's the that seems to be the complex part of it. 